Hey guys, so I'm over at the computer and this is, is the design that we're going to separate today. What I have here is I have black t-shirts. We're printing this on next level black shirts. This is the 3600. The 3600 is a really, really dark black. Sorry about that. 3600 is a really dark black shirt. So it's going to give me a nice vibrant color. It's going to have a half tone. Uh, to it we're going to get a really really good look with this okay uh, we're going for two different yellows so a yellow and a gold a blue and a red so we're going for four print colors no underbasing okay and here it is our very seldom underbase we're not going to underbase this we're going to use some opaque uh, union and will flex inks and this is going to look really really great Okay, so this is the job proof. So let me show you guys. First of all, I want to say don't do a lot of steps anymore, but I have people who ask me about separations all the time. So I wanted to show you guys this because today I happen to not be able to use Separation Studio to color separate this job. So what I'm going to do, open up another desktop and I'm going to open up Separation Studio whoa whoa opening up obs studio sorry obs and separation studio the they look almost alike to me so let me go on here and hopefully that does not open yeah yeah it's trying to open so let me just exit up out of that and go back over here open up separation studio now i'm going to show you this set in separation studio but we are going to separate this job today without using separation studio directly in corel draw no rip needed okay from start to finish show you the finished films and all of that stuff so here we are in separation studio open it up pull in the tiff i'm going to show you how separation studio is going to separate this job for me right away when i open up into separation studio i see that i get kind of a muted color here my gold changes i could kind of adjust that on press if i do an auto adjust it gives me mainly one color right there you see that um so what separation studio does instead of giving me two different yellows to choose from it's giving me a gold and a top white and here's the print. So this would be the underbase. This would be red. That's the blue saps, the gold saps. Nothing purple, no green, no turquoise or gray. But I do have a top white. So Separation Studio actually separates this in four or five colors. Okay, let me show you. If you take the underbase off in Separation Studio, this is the look that you would get. I'm going to print this job with no base, but mine's not going to look like that. I love separate studio but in this case i choose not to use it so let's just exit up out of there show you what i want to do and why i'm not going to use separate studio today we are going to set directly in corral uh, and we need to use the two yellows so here we are we are back in corral drop now this is actually called a simulated what we're going to be doing this print is going to be a uh, simulated uh, separation, simulated process, okay, or spot process. So we are here. We've got our logo. I'm just going to downsize a little bit. Let me make it fit. Okay. So here's the logo. What we want to do, we want to print this to where we've got this, this bright yellow here and we've got the gold. So we want to use a yellow and then we want to use a gold print okay the difference between these two the two programs is going to be like crazy so you'll see once i finish with this app so what we're looking for i'm going to take my dropper over here to the right grab it and put it on here and see what i'm working with so i'm working with a cmyk color palette now i can pretty much basically remove that black because we're not going to be using the black but we can leave it there so we've got the blue we've got this uh orangey gold looking color which is a combination of cmy and k which cyan magenta and uh and uh yellow uh which is how this is coming up if we were doing a cmyk print 
uh, and we got this yellows. But one thing that all the yellows have in common, you got 100% Y there, you've got 79% Y there, you've got 97% Y there. So everything that the yellow has in common, the red and the blue, very easy to separate. The two yellows, those are going to be, that's going to be the trick because that's going to be where our halftone print is. So what we're going to do, we're going to separate this using the Y in magenta, and then we're going to take this gold and make it a Pantone color because Corel will automatically separate Pantone colors. So what I'm going to do, we're going to use the Find and Replace tools today. Find and Replace, you can go up to File, Edit, go down to Find and Replace, hit Find Objects, Replace Objects. We want to replace objects. And today what we want to do is we want to replace a color. There are other options in there. We'll go over that in another video. Going to replace the color. We're just going to click in here. We're going to find the color that we want to replace. We want to replace uh, this color here. And we're going to close that up. And what we're going to replace it with is going to be yellow. And we're going to hit finish. Corel is going to find all of the colors that have yellow in it. And let's see if we found it. And we didn't. I think I need to ungroup this stuff, y'all. Go in here and let's see if that's 100%. Nope, and it's not. You go back in here and do that again. Sometimes this recorder will make things not happen the way that I need it to work. So one thing that I am going to do is select all. Make sure that all of these objects are ungrouped. And you got to select the whole circle and then ungroup everything there. Here it's ungrouped. Here we go. Okay, let's try this again. Let's go back here now. There we go. Go to File, Find and Replace, Replace Object. Going to replace this color. Let's go to the color. Find the color that we want to replace. Place that yellow right there. And we want to replace it with Oh, that's an RGB color. That's not what we want. We want to replace it with a CMYK color. So we'll go through here. Come on. I said a CMYK color. Sometimes. Uh, document palette, spot colors, palette library, my palettes. CMYK and I don't know why this is not opening up I tell you when I'm recording it'll never do what I want it to do so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slide this over that's my yellow that I want right there matter of fact I'm just gonna exit out of this RGB color palette because I don't want it to show and I'm going to go over here and I want this to show me three rows so that way I know that when we do this we're good. I'm going to go here hit find and replace and go up okay move that over to the side and here we go. Okay. So we're going to find this RGB yellow. We're going to replace the RGB yellow with a CMYK yellow because it's going to be 100%. And we're going to hit finish. Replace all. Corel should have replaced that. And let's see what we got now. 
now we've got 100% yellow. You see when we hit the places that are 100% yellow. Now when you hit this, you're going to have, okay, second part of the video. So we've replaced that yellow. Um, now you're going to look in the bottom right hand corner and you're going to see the Y. When you click on the triangle, you're going to see a fountain. If you go in and click on this fountain, this fountain is going to show you that it's 100% yellow in the parts of uh, cyan, in the parts that uh, it's not 100%, I'm sorry, but it's got it's going to have blends of 100% yellow and then the RGB color. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go back up here. We're going to do the same thing with the gold and find and replace that. And replace that color. Same step that we did. Select this gold. This time we're going to replace with a Pantone color. This is very, very important. We're going to use Pantone 124C. That's about the closest thing to that gold. Very important that you use a Pantone color and a Pantone solid at that when you're replacing colors. Okay? So now we've got the two colors. We're going to go in. We're going to go ahead and replace the blue. Do the same step over and over again. Okay? I'm going to replace that blue. And any old blue will do for me because I'm going to drop in what color of blue I actually want to print. But I want to replace those blues with Pantone colors so that Corel will automatically... Um, set this stuff for me. You're going to see Corel working. And you saw that color change. Now the only thing we have now is red. So I'm going to zoom in because the red is going to be kind of hard for me to pick up. And go here to File, Edit, Replace the Red. And you guys are kind of should be kind of getting the idea. So if you want to zoom on up in the video you can that's a CMYK color there and we're going to replace that red with a Pantone red we'll just go with that 032C and we're going to hit finish replace Corel's going to replace all now it should be done. Let's see. That's Pantone. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we can click on this black and we can just go on and delete that black. Okay. We should have Pantone sets right here. Let's go in to print. Go to file. Go over here to my 1400. And when I'm in my 1400, you're going to see CMYK colors, but you're also going to see, go over here to separations. So I want you to see. You're going to see some little bright CMYK colors, but you can take all of those off except for the yellow because I am using the yellow in the, in the, uh, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean. I'm sorry, guys. I lost my train of thought. I am using the yellow out of the CMYK color, but it's 100% yellow. So here we go. Here are our separations, our four steps. Yellow, gold, the blue, and the blue. So this is the yellow. Notice that this yellow is going to be a solid yellow. Now I've got solid stuff going on, okay? I've got that yellow versus me having a, uh, doing the whole thing with yellow and then coming over with the white, I've got a solid yellow color, an actual yellow and not a gold that I'm going to add yellow to. Um, so then we've got the Pantone color and we're going to come in with our blend of our gold. It's going to give us a much better print doing our steps manually. Got our reflex blue here and then we've got our red. So our steps are ready to go. Now, what you want to do is if you had a rip, you would go ahead and rip this now. Um, but if you don't have a rip, you could use Ghost Script. You could save this as a independent um, uh, PostScript file 
and then you could go over here so we got this is this is in Corel I think in my older videos you may have seen it the independent device uh, device independent postscript file you can use that to do your set so that it will actually separate all of this so we're going to go over here and I'll show you how to set this up we've got it on tabloid that's okay and now we're going to go through the colors we've got print the colors now you want to make sure that this is off because if this is off it's is on it's going to convert it back over to cmyk so you want to make sure that that's always off so that you'll have your have your Pantone colors okay here are our saps now if you have something like a rip or you have ghost script you'll have these options that you're you're able to use you don't want to use this for this job because we don't overprint or anything like that when we're doing when I'm doing uh, you know halftone work so you don't want to use any of this um, you could if you want it to but you, you don't need it okay here's your screen frequency and all of that okay so if you have separation um, if you have ghost script I'm going to show you how to do this in ghost script um, to set this up and then I'm going to go back and show you how to do this in regular just Corel so you click on advanced settings uh, click on these colors and then you would change this to dot um, to be round it can be dot um, whatever you want um, I just like round and then you would change this frequency here your angles change the angles to 22.5 or 25 this is how we're telling it to what we what angle we want it to print at Twenty-two. Oh, oh, sorry. So, only thing we need to change to twenty-two point five is going to be the um, the yellow and the the yellow and the um, the the yellow and the gold because those are the only half to half tones. Okay, that are in there. Everything else you can really leave okay and I believe this was set at 45 so everything else you can just leave alone you don't have to do any type of angles on this blue should be a zero because that blue is going to be solid you don't have to do any angles on that so now you would hit okay okay and then when you go to print here this is the same even if you're doing this and you're gonna and you're gonna not use a rip you can still go well you can't go in and do that if you're not using a rip okay but if you are using a rip you can go in and do that if you have it set up so we're gonna go to print the difference in ghost script and printing and doing this manually is that if you're using ghost script you're gonna save the file as a PS file save it and then open the file using ghost view and print it that way but today we're going to do just a regular print file and we're going to save this print file on our desktop and we're going to call this print file okay now I didn't add any registration marks or anything to this but it's okay because we're just viewing it so here is the print file we're going to double click on the print file click on curves what the print file does is that opens up your design for you okay it's going to open up the design it's actually saved it as 11 by 17 so it opens up the design for you and puts each channel on let's make this 13 by 19 I must have had, had it saved as 13 by 19 but I saved it as page size something else okay so this is going to actually put each put your page size on here for each design now I didn't say my print information which I should have um, but I didn't uh, and I'll go back over here normally we would have print information here which would tell us what palette palette one of this or that where this is red and tell you all of the colors but I guess I didn't say that but this is your red that's your blue 
that's your yellow and that's that now the only thing you have to do is to take these files turn these files into bitmap files um, turn this into a grayscale bitmap and then once you have this grayscale bitmap you go back up here and you hit mode and go to black and white now you can take use this set this up as a half tone set your degrees and what you want here because if you remember if you if you don't have those script or a rip you're not going to be able to set the half tone printing up over there in the print option so you would go in here when you open it up and set it here and we're going to hit okay okay now corel's not going to render this very pretty okay but you've got some pretty good, a pretty good halftone job right here. You do that for each page, okay? And put your registration marks on. You're ready to print out. I'll show you the printout uh, in the next video. And that's basically it, guys. Let me see if I can save this as a PDF real quick. I'll just save it here here on the desktop and open it back up so you can see the halftone effect uh, from the first page. We only saved the first page, but it should be able to show you. Oh, it's not ready yet. Moving a little bit too fast for the computer. There it comes. Okay. There's your halftone, your halftone image. You see you've got the solid, and then here you've got that yellow, which is going to blend in. And we didn't save the other files as half, you know, we didn't have tone the other files. But these are your steps. And that's how you do a separation in Corel Draw. Let me hey guys, so the separations are printed, and this is the... So, so this is the light yellow, and that's the set there. So you're going to see, you can see where we got, I'm sorry, the white, which is going to go into the darker color. It's going to get us this one, and we're going to combine those two yellows. And that's what's going to give us the shading in this image. And then, of course, we have blue which is just a solid blue um i may print the blue i think i'm going to print the blue first there's no overprinting on this image so i can print in whatever my solid colors in whatever um whichever way that i want so i put that on any type and then we have the red so we're going to print this up and hopefully I'll get to come back in here and show you guys what this looks like, or you'll just catch it on the wall when it's done, and I'll refer to it in another video. I hope you guys like this video on separations, and if you like a video request, if you have a video request, you know, put it down in the comments for me, and I'll try to do it. I'm back doing videos. Um, anyways tune in for my webinar on the t-shirt calculator which is going to be on saturday this saturday uh the 20 something i don't know today's the 20th so it's going to be a webinar on the t-shirt calculator and if you're having issues out there quoting your t-shirts then make sure you check out miss t's t-shirt calculator 2019. i also have uh free demos for you guys but you have to email me and ask me for those, okay? Um, also, go and check out Latana.com and get yourself some stuff off of there. Alrighty, guys.